All right, so I see this, I see this kind of question posed all the time, wondering how do you cut the windows for the plexiglass? All right, this is, I think it's acrylic. It doesn't really matter what kind of plexiglass you get. It's just personal preference, really. But here we're going to measure this out and then cut it, okay? So I got, I need a piece that's 42 inches wide, 8 inches high. So I'm going to measure that out. 42 inches wide. It's almost a whole sheet, so I'm just going to cut the whole sheet uh, eight inches tall. So we got, here's what you do here. You just go through with your Sharpie eight inches. All right, eight inches. Eight inches. Eight inches. Eight inches. Be sure you're working from the straight edge and not one that you might have already cut or marred or something. I've used this piece of sheet. This is my second build that I'll be using this sheet on. You know, you can get a good size piece and make more than one. So, you're also going to want to get this is a plexiglass cutter. Right? It's got a really sharp point right there. It's almost like a fancy X-Acto knife that you're going to score this with. All right, Got a little sheath to keep you from jabbing yourself. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got my handy dandy ruler here. I'm going to go ahead and make me a straight line. That's pretty, it doesn't got to be perfect. You know, this is going to have trim around it. So it's not do or die. And then my deal is not really long enough. Alright. So I made a little bit of a mark. Sharpie doesn't mark too well on plexiglass. But it's enough where I know where it's at. And so now what I'm going to do is I've got straight edge of this board. This is just scrap lumber. All right. And I'm going to be putting it right on that edge. And I'll show you this little trick here in a second. I'm just going to get it close to this edge. Well, I'll get it right on the edge. When I score this, and I'm going to be cracking it along this edge. All right, take your these clips. They're made by Pony. There's several of them. They just ratchet, spring back open. They're super, super handy if you're going to be building a trailer for holding lumber in place, for clamping stuff together, just all sorts of good stuff that that thing's for. All right. Now. We're clamped in place. I'm gonna be using my exact knife. Oh, here. You might be wondering why I got this. This is like a uh, fabric measuring deal that a tailor would use. This is excellent for going around curves, especially for measuring the front of this window. For measuring around curves, this is essential. So you might wanna have one of those. They're super cheap. So we'll just take this and we'll just drag it along there a couple times and it'll peel in and dig in to that to that plexiglass. So I like to score it twice, at least twice, so you know, plus anywhere you got off the, of your line, you can score it deeper and it'll 
probably break on the place that you scored deeper. It's not a race, so take your time on this deal. Only so much plexiglass you got, you know what I mean? So, now we're clamped in place. See if I got enough to do the other side. All right, so yeah, we do have enough here. We're gonna redo this. be 
bound a little bit further back. I hope it snaps right along the edge. There it did it. Cut it, scored it, we're good to go. Got us a window and it's gonna go in the front of that trailer. Once you get your plexiglass all cut, you install it in your front window. And this is why I cut out that divider and make it one big window because it just really opens it up and really makes sets it off, you know, really accents the trailer nice.